All right, so after the success of the movie Low Lifes, which was way better than I ever expected a Tubi original to be, even though I've really liked three Tubi originals now, it was just, you know, I'm still not at the place where I'm ever going to accept that Tubi originals are gonna be good. But there could be a time when uh, we start getting a bunch of them where I'm like, okay, I actually expect them to be good. But at as of right now, they're still mostly trash. <laughs> so, but after low life, so I'm like, all right, I'm going to check out more. Anything that looks even slightly interesting, I'm going to throw on. So I watched a few of them. Let's discuss them. Uh, first up, we got Romy. So Romy is a killer smart house movie. We got another one of these last year. I think it was last year called Margo. Um, that one was pretty shit but it did have a really cool opening kill or maybe two kills um with the guy from scary movie uh he gets killed in like a lounge chair or something i remember that kill being really cool but we got this movie we got this girl who has this tragedy that she's kind of trying to run away from we find out her mom's like a politician or something and she goes and she house sits for this guy who has this uh you know, system called Romy. Um, and there's this technician who has to come over and kind of service it because it's still a little bit on the fritz. It's a little bit new. They're still kind of trying it out. So he has to kind of come back and forth and fix things. And while she's there, it starts watching her more. It starts being a little creepy. Then there's like an appearance of a, maybe a ghost. Maybe the thing is haunted by somebody, whatever. So I did not like this. Um, I found the lead girl to be fairly dull. Um, she's not horrendous, but like I just found her character to be very, very boring. I just never felt anything from her. There's never any interesting dialogue. They're trying to build drama between like what she did in her past. There's kind of this uh, sort of pseudo relationship thing brewing, but it seems to be more one sided. Um, then there's like the whole incident in the past. Uh, or did I already say that? And I meant the mom. Whatever one I didn't say, uh, the mom or the incident. There's trying to be drama there or the past incident, whatever one. Um, so those are like the three things. And then, of course, there's the house and all the horror with the house is just lame, unforgettable or unforgettable, forgettable as all hell. And so, yeah, in the end, when it is revealed what's going on, that was OK ish. It made sense. And I was like, yeah, OK, I should have saw that coming. But I was so checked out. I so didn't give a shit at that point. And when you're so checked out, you miss those kinds of twists because you're just like I don't care I'm barely paying attention at this point you know you only have like 10 20 minutes to grab your audience I should have shut this one off but you know you get it into a certain place and I did break this up into like five different viewings at like 10 to 15 20 minutes a piece um, and even that got boring so it's just a really slow drag of a film with a pretty uninteresting character uh, whether the girl actually has talent or not for a different movie, I don't know. You know, I never want to try to blame the actresses or actors in these instances because, you know, maybe with a different script, maybe with a different director, maybe with a different whatever, uh, they'd be better. So I don't want to knock her too much. As I said, she's not terrible. I just find her character to be so uninteresting. Um, so that's a big thing. And then, of course, the horror doesn't work, like, at all. So, yeah, there you go. Um... So, not a recommendation, obviously, and that's that. All right, bye.